Today, we're going to explore how to use a golf cart battery to power a refrigerator for emergencies, off-grid living, or just because you can. We'll use this 2000 watt power inverter in order to transform the 48 volt power from the golf cart batteries into a usable 120 volts. The entire build, excluding the fridge and battery, costs just under $300. I've included a list of links in the description below, which you can use to build your own battery backup system. But wait, there's more. Purchasing through my links helps support the channel and it's of no additional cost to you. We start by flipping the cart into tow mode and turning off the battery. Let's talk about this six gauge wire. It's a bit pricey, but you wanna make sure you measure and get enough. If you're short, you'll have to put your inverter in an awkward place and you might not be able to reach the power cable of the fridge. Now the worst part about this build was actually the horrendous smell from this six gauge wire. I don't know why, but it smells terrible. I really like this hammer crimper from Temco. I never had a problem with making really solid connections. I decided to add this 60 amp fuse as an extra precaution. I'll put up the formula for determining the fuse size right now. Once the red wire is cut and crimped, I'm gonna go ahead and do the black one. Make sure when you're using these Anderson connectors that the silver hooks go over the metal tabs as seen here. I would recommend buying the connectors that include the little covers just to keep the connections clean and for safety. Now it's time to connect our wire to the battery. Refer to this diagram if you're using multiple batteries. I'm assembling the wires that will connect to the inverter. This one is about 12 feet long. I recommend purchasing 20 foot to give yourself some extra wiggle room or to do a second cut. Did I mention how awesome these Anderson connectors are? Zip ties, of course, for keeping your wires together. And there it is. It really is a thing of beauty. All right, the time has come. Let's make all the connections and fire this bad boy up. The cart's still in tow mode, so I changed that back to being on the run setting. And then I turned the battery pack on. Check out my little friend here. He's ready to watch the magic. And just like that, the fridge is on and the compressor is running. You can see that the refrigerator is using about 100 watts and this is with the condenser on. After 13 minutes, we have our first drop in the battery and the inverter shows a slight decrease in usage at 90 watts. At 23 minutes, the compressor on the fridge turns off and the wattage on the inverter shows zero. The battery is still holding strong at 99%. At 30 minutes, the compressor is still off and the battery is still showing at 99%. My friend has moved a little bit though. Where'd you go? Don't, don't leave me. At one hour, the compressor has kicked back on and would you believe it? The cart battery is still at 99%. At two hours in, we got the compressor running and the golf cart battery is now showing at 98%. So another drop in percentage. One hour later, we're starting to see a pattern emerge here and our battery is at 97%. I'm gonna go ahead and stop our test here. Now I'm no scientist, but let's go ahead and do the math. In three hours, our car battery dropped 3%. So that would be 1% drop per hour. If you wanted to take your cart down to 20% charge, that would be 80 hours or a little bit more than three days. I'm personally thrilled with these results. Do you think this could be used in place of a gas generator? Is there some way to hook this up so it could run your whole house? I would assume so. Let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching.